Leonardo AI is like the gift that just keeps on giving. It's like a superpower. And that is why I love Leonardo AI so much and actually think it is the best AI generating tool out there. It continues to impress me every time I use it. Because just when they release a new cutting edge update and innovative tool, it always seems like another one is just right around the corner. For example, if you haven't watched these videos yet that you see on your screen, make sure you also watch these as well. And this one I'm about to show you, I believe can be a huge game changer and a glimpse into a very bright future and what the future could actually hold. Get access to this new Leonardo AI Ultimate Prompt Database plus hundreds of other prompts. Just click the links in the description. And the reason why I believe this could be such a huge game changer is because it's a real-time image generator. Every prompt that you add or start to type, it's going to show you a preview of what that image will look like in real time. So it's going to eliminate any guesswork on wasted prompts or wasted images and you'll be able to immediately determine if your designs and prompts are actually headed in the right direction all right so here we are on Leonardo AI's homepage and over here on the left hand side you can see it's called real-time gen so here it is Leonardo AI real-time gen instantly you're gonna be greeted with just a completely blank slate and so you might be thinking to yourself where do I even begin it's quite simple so first what I'll do is just start typing something completely random then after I do that, I'm going to show you some very good prompts with some very important and unique keywords that you should definitely try to get some really amazing looking results. So the first thing you'll notice is down here at the bottom, simple type of prompt. That's where you can make all the magic happen by just typing your prompt in. And then now to the right of that, it's going to have your presets all the way from anime, cinematic, dynamic, all the way down to sketch color and then vibrant and none. But one cool thing you'll notice is over here on the right hand side is the elements. This is going to come in extremely helpful, especially for those who want images of sketches or even coloring books. So right over here, you could see there's going to be four options you could choose from coloring book, folk art illustration, kids illustration, and then tune and anime. But keep these elements in mind because I'm actually going to share some pretty good prompts you'll want to use to take advantage of all four of these elements. And then also to top it off in the top right hand corner, it's faded out right now. It will illuminate once I start typing a prompt. We have the creative upscale. So let's just go ahead and then just start typing a prompt. So if I just start typing a beautiful, it's going to automatically default to at least something. So right now with just two simple keywords, a beautiful, I'm going to get this kind of architectural type looking scene. But now let's take things to the next level. So if I just type in next beach and then now it automatically transforms that image into now a beach. Now take it a little bit further, a beautiful beach. Now watch this with palm trees. So just as I'm typing in palm trees, there we go. We have palm trees appearing, although one is kind of missing the top. Okay. Let's try one more thing. So then if I type with a boat in the background, there goes a boat, but let's make this really next level. Let's say with a cruise ship in the water. Okay. Now we're talking. So now there is an actual cruise ship right there in the water. Pretty cool. So you might be asking yourself, this image doesn't really look too good. It doesn't right now. It's kind of pixelated and blurry, but it doesn't matter because we're going to actually improve that in the top right hand corner with the creative upscale. So you can see how this starts to work. Okay. If I just transform beach and I put in woman instead, we're going to start off with that. And then I can just say with blonde hair, and now it's going to transform into this one. Now I can say with brown hair, okay, there's a woman with brown hair. Now, if I say with brown hair and blue eyes, look at that. Her eyes get adjusted very quickly. Let's remove blue and then type in green eyes. Now look at that. That's amazing. And immediately, whatever you type, you're going to see automatically displayed right in front of you. Now, this is going to be extremely helpful because now it's going to limit the amount of your wasted prompts or it's going to give you a nice perspective on what your image could look like. Now, let's take things a step further. Keep in mind, we have dynamic as the setting. Let's keep this prompt up right here. Beautiful woman with brown hair and green eyes. And let's go through a few of these presets. Okay. Now, if I change it to cinematic, notice how the lighting just completely changes. Now, let's go to environment. And if I go down, through each of these, you could see literally instantly with each click of a button of each preset, I'm going to get a different variety of images. Okay. Now I'm down here in product, right? So that's going to be like more of a product type photo ray traced. Okay. And now sketch color and then down to vibrant. 
And so now the next thing I'll do is I'll go through some prompts on my custom mega database specifically for Leonardo AI. Because why that's so important is because in order to generate a certain style image, you want to be able to know what fine-tuned model was used. You can see that over here on the right-hand side. And then you want to know what alchemy preset was used, if any. And then if any elements were used, you want to be able to look at any image made with elements. Look at this image right here, expand it, and then look for yourself that it was created with RPG V5, Leonardo style as the preset. Here's the full prompt, and it was with this element, glass and steel. So the same could be said, for example, this one right here. If I click to expand it, you can see it's made with Albedo Base XL. And then right here is going to be my alchemy preset is sketch color. As I scroll down, you could see that it's going to be the element coloring book, and then here's the tags. That way it's easy to find, and then everything is synced and organized based off of tags and fine-tuned models. All right, so what we want to do next to really narrow this down and get some really unique looking images with real-time gen, let's start to create something with a purpose. Let me click on this one right here, okay? This image is pretty cool. This is going to be a 3D animation style modern living room, okay? So here's the prompt right here. Let's take a look at some of these keywords and then just get an idea of what we're looking for, okay? So I have a few keywords. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this prompt. And then I'm going to go back to Leonardo AI. And without having to actually type the prompt in, I'm just going to go ahead and then use a few specific keywords to kind of get this 3D modern blueprint of this living room. So down here in the prompt, I have my keywords pasted. And here they are. Photolistic 3D rendering of living room modern. Okay, not bad for the first try. Now let's go through some of these presets and see if we can get something a little bit different. Even if I choose anime, it looks pretty cool. So one preset that works pretty well is going to be the environment one. That works pretty good because I'm making an actual environment in the form of a living room. Now check this out. Here is where the elements are going to come into play. Okay, with that being said, now let's take things a step further. And based off of this toggle, as we click and drag any of these left or right, we're going to get a completely different look. If I wanted this to look more of like a coloring book, if I bring it all the way to the right, now check that out, it's going to be a legit coloring book. If I switched up environment to sketch black and white, now it's going to look even different. And I have sketch color. And so I could change this up if I really want to get a coloring book. I can add a few more details in a prompt like solid black lines, traceable lines, etc. But in that case, let's move this back over here. I'm going to go back to environment. And now let's go ahead and make this tune anime. I'm going to bring it all the way to the right. Okay, now check this out. Now that living room transformed into like a 3D render to now a tune and anime style. Now that's pretty cool as well. And you could select these back and forth until you find one that's going to fit exactly what you're looking for. So let's say we're done and we like this one right here. What you want to do next is in the top right hand corner, you can go ahead and then download it as is. I don't recommend that. I do recommend using the creative upscale. If I select this down arrow, we'll have normal upscale mode and then creative upscale mode. I'll do creative upscale. And now there you have it. This is in my personal feed. You can see the alchemy refiner is still working. Once it's done, we'll come back and we'll select this and then we'll see what the final product look like. And then now you can see it's going to look much better. So on the left hand side, that's going to be the original one. It hasn't been upscaled, so it's going to be a smaller file size. Now this one right here, the larger one has been completed with the alchemy refiner. And I got to tell you, this looks pretty cool and pretty impressive. Now let's go back very quickly before we wrap things up and let me show you some very cool keywords to use to really make the most of this new release. Okay, now look at this keyword right here. Down here at the bottom in the prompt area, I always loved using this specific sentence. Glowing pastel purple, phosphorescence, and then whatever you want. In this case, I put I. And right now it's on dynamic, and I gotta tell you, it looks pretty impressive. Okay, moving on, my next one is gonna be a Pixar-style baby fox. So this isn't quite Pixar yet, but that's where this element is gonna come into play. Now I have it on anime as the anime preset. That is much better. Now let's take this tune and anime, and then let's just toggle some of this and then look at the different variations we can get. Now this is tune and anime all the way to the left. Now let's try it all the way to the right. And then there's the differences right there. If I move it more or less in the middle or a little bit more to the left, that looks pretty good as well. Let's go back and reset this back to zero. And then simply, if I wanted to have one that's more of a coloring book, that's all the way to the right. Now again, it isn't quite ready for a coloring book because it still has that light shade of orange, but you can change that up in the prompt below by just typing some new keywords. So I started off by just putting dark black lines at the end. If I do one more comma and I do coloring book style, you can see it will give me a better variation right here. Okay, so I have sketch black and white and then coloring book style all the way to the right hand side to get more of a coloring book style sort of page. And now I want to type in another cool one. Okay, I just typed in one word, electroluminescent. 
Obviously, this isn't going to look good. Let's change it up to dynamic now. But now let's add a subject. Now I just typed in flower and then look at that right there. That's pretty cool. That's a good keyword that you definitely want to keep in mind. With the same sort of description, let's just change it up now to bioluminescent flower, blue and purple gradient. And now look what we get right here. I'm going to change it up from dynamic to environment. And then we get something completely different here as well. Now, another really cool keyword is going to be this one down here. Amigurumi. I don't even know if I'm saying that the right way, but just by putting this in, you're going to get an image that looks kind of like this. Let's change it up and give it an actual subject. And now say uh, bunny. And then there we have it. That's pretty cool too. Let's just go like that and then just put in bun. So just putting in the word bun, we'll now get this one. All right, now check out this actual prompt right here. I actually typed in a full prompt and let me show you what it is. It's a electrifying advertisement for a Nike shoe featuring a dynamic and immersive electroluminescent experience. Showcase the shoe's futuristic appeal. So I have dynamic on, but what happens if I change this to actually product? Now on product, this looks pretty cool. And if I move it to tune and animate to the right hand side, that actually looks good as well. All right, now the next one is going to be very cool. It's actually a full prompt. Ultra detailed illustration of an environment on a dangerous exotic planet with animals and plants. Now this one's going to take some specific elements. We're going to use two. We're going to use kids illustration and then tune and anime. So let's move the tune and anime over here. Kids illustration somewhat over there as well. Okay, now that's pretty cool. And then now one last one. This is actually another prompt as well. It says a modern living room with a virtual skylight displaying a night sky. I have this one on vibrant right here. I actually like this one, so I'll upscale this image, but then I'll change it up to dynamic just to see a few different results, cinematic, and then again, I'll try ray traced. But the thing I really like about this most is just by simply starting to type something, you can instantly change, edit, and revise the prompt and get a completely different image every single time. And now what I like about this is you can instantly create backgrounds. Now watch this, background, vapor wave, and I'll say vapor color explosion, blue and purple. Look at this, now this looks pretty cool. I could say blue and green, and I'll get the same sort of thing, but now it's gonna have a gradient blue and green theme. And then one last one, this is one of my personal favorites. I just typed in gradient color burst smoke. This will work out perfect for a background as well. Then you can change things up and then you could say blue and pink, and now you're gonna get just those variations. I'll say blue, purple, and orange. Now look at that. That looks fantastic. So you can quickly see what you're generating and how good your prompt is going to do in generating that actual image. So Leonardo AI does it again with yet another pretty innovative and fascinating update and new feature. So you tell me what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm